All right, Dr. Kane, I've done the thing where I murdered all the Mavericks, and also the one thing where I also just go back to all the places I've visited and gotten weird things. All right, so, <laughs> the X-Hunters have invaded the North Pole. That's right, they've captured Santa Claus. X, you must stop them before they end Christmas. And of course, since I've found all Zero's parts, the conversation here is about, hey, um, we haven't activated Zero yet, so, um, go, go do that, X, instead of, hey, the X-Hunters still have Zero's parts, you should go get them. So, less of a desperate move here, uh, we don't need to invade them so we can get Zero back, uh, we just have to hold them off. <laughs> that is why we are here to get they asses. Alright, so, the X-Hunter stages are... fine. <laughs> it... it's... Look, it, it's Fortress stages. If you've played a Mega Man game, you kinda know how this goes. And if you've been paying attention to X2 in general, you also know that uh, even if these aren't your favorite stages, they're gonna be kinda painless overall. <laughs> they're, they're gonna be fairly short, if nothing else. Uh, but the design of this one's okay. Uh, it's just a North Pole base, so... Emphasis, unfortunately, on the base and not some cool snowfield, though... To be fair, I guess the last thing anyone wants to add is ice physics. Though, to be fair, that could include the developers. Uh, given this game in general, um... They, even if there were snow here, I don't know if they would have changed the physics up. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, X2 is... Like I said, I like this game, but I can certainly see why uh, people aren't the biggest fans of it, because it really did just come out way too soon after X1. Like, they came up with this new Mega Man series, and it was all shiny and cool, and they were prepared to really show their stuff, and they did in X1. And then X2 came out, like, fucking almost immediately, uh, and it kind of shows that it is, you know... I, look, I don't know the exact development time in general, but considering the release dates, I can't imagine it was that much. <laughs> so, the stages, while not bad, are kind of very short all the time. And then you have situations like this. Here's Violin. Uh, he doesn't have anything new to say, nor does he have a particularly new fight. Uh, he just has blocks and that's it. That That's all he's got. Which, I mean, to be fair, it does mess with the trajectory a little bit, but, like, he can also kind of just trap his, uh, ball and chain in the blocks, and to be fair, that does make it tricky as well. Uh, sometimes you're safe, but sometimes it'll just unexpectedly come out of nowhere, but it really doesn't change the fight that much from the first version of it. HOW COULD HE HAVE POSSIBLY SPRAYED BUBBLES AT ME? NO! Alright, and that is Violin dead. Well... You sure were a maverick. And <laughs> that's all I have to say about, about Violin. He is... The very slow one. He may have been slow. He could jump okay. He was an alright guy. Can't even say he was he a hell of a guy. Alright, so that was stage one. Again, very short. So, let's go back to the North Pole for stage two. Alright, which one do we have here? Stage one was kind of very devoid of gimmicks. <laughs> there, there weren't many. Uh, so now we have a water stage. With which to uh, flaunt our bubble attack a little more. And also use it as a very good shield that lets us jump high. And X, however, is a hell of a guy. Take that violin. I mean, did you see that move? That was a cool move. This one is less cool. Uh, so I guess while we're talking about limitations, I should mention, uh, violin is the only X hunter that's not going to change his battle significantly. That is actually due to, apparently, uh, the fact that the devs were basically just testing the limits, limits of the uh, CX4 chip, I think? Uh, basically, yeah, it's just a uh, SNES chip. I... look. 
I'm not great with technology, so please, don't expect me to know anything else other than it went in an SNES and it made things look like SNES stuff. That's the best- that's the best I got, I'm sorry. Look, I'm the type who will just look at, like, an SNES and just shrug and mug the camera. That- that's me, I'm in an infomercial all the time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um... Also, other things cut due to uh, the fact that they were just kind of playing around with a thing and there were memory limits. Uh, there was actually supposed to be a fourth X-Hunter. Uh, we don't know her name, just that it would have been the only female uh, X-Hunter. Uh, so that's two games in a row where there could have been a female character and there was not. But this one would have been evil. Anyway, though, here's Sergi's. Uh, much like the first fight with Sergi's. His is just the worst, and I hate doing it. Uh, this one? This one just sucks. I... It's just a big pit of spikes, so... Hey, uh, if you mess up your jump, you just fall and die. However, it's also very hard to dodge all these projectiles, uh, because they're just kind of all over the place. And they don't let up until you destroy one of these segments. Which takes a while. God, hey, hey! How's it going? Uh, did you notice the- the runtime? I'm not doing stage 3. I know these stages are short, but stage 3 isn't here. Uh, the, this is just the Sergi's fight for the rest of it. And notice also I haven't actually damaged him. Uh, just the thing, just- just the cannon. And now he's got a new projectile and he's closer, so... Cool, I love to dodge worse. It's great. <laughs> Just kidding, it fucking sucks. So yeah, that's the gimmick. The more you damage him, uh, the less you have to work with. Uh, try to spread the damage out evenly. I know it can be difficult just because he doesn't have a health bar, and therefore you can't really pay attention uh, to his HP, unless you're counting cards, as it were. Metaphorically speaking. So now I'm just left with the most obnoxious one to hit in the most... Uh, with the least amount of area to dodge. It's... bad. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, so now we've destroyed all cannons, so guess what? He still fucking sucks to fight, because he's just going to be shooting out projectiles like this constantly. Uh, so now we can actually use weapons, though, at least, uh, which means I can just charge this up. A smarter idea would have been to, like, go to the side, fire one of these uh, projectiles, you know, the single shot I have to waste before charging. Uh, I could have done that and then just not have had to waste that shot and got an extra hit in on him, but I didn't want to because I hate this fight and I wanted to cheese the rest of it because I don't care. The first half sucks so bad. <laughs> no, the prophecy! Ow! That destroyed my pelvis! Alright, and that's him dead. He will never fulfill the prophecy. Whatever big tablet he looked in in some ancient ruins will not come to pass. I don't know, did he see supersonic fighting chaos? Maybe that's what he saw, and he just got real confused. Now, how he got from point A to point B, I'm unsure. But that doesn't matter, because again, he's dead now. And with that, we have cleared the first two X-Hunter stages. Next time... For some reason, we killed the leader second, and we're leaving Agile for last. <laughs>